one. I think my water's breaking. Mm. You need you need your husband? Huh? Oh, it's still coming! button below so you don't miss any of my uploads today I am out of breath I probably look a mess I feel a mess I'm tired I don't have no lashes on I just listen ignore all of this and let's focus on the video <laughs> if you click this video then you saw the title it's a what's in my bag video so today I'm gonna show you guys what's in my hospital bag and I figured I'm gonna do it today because tomorrow we are walking this baby out. Do you hear me? Because I went to the doctor today Ooh. and I got an ultrasound and he's measuring nine pounds, eight ounces. I mean, I know it can it can be right sometimes, it can be wrong sometimes, but we're not gonna take that chance. Like, we're not going, we're not going to the 40 weeks, okay? We're gonna have him right here at 39. So, that is why I'm filming this video today, right now, because I was packing my bag right now. I'm not playing, like, today is, tomorrow is the day. I'ma chill today, I'ma rest, you know, you know, get my energy up, but tomorrow we're going for a walk, and we getting this baby out! So, whew. I love this bag. Do you see it? It's so cute. I actually know where this is from, so I can link it down below if you want. It's really cute. I'm gonna zoom in, maybe you can see the details on it. It's black and gold, goes with a lot. You know, my style, it is very big. I'm more so of a book bag type of girl in like a fanny pack, strap, you know, bags. I don't really like these kind of bags so my other bag is my other this is living travel share this bag I love my other friend got me this oh, my friend Shanika hey Shanika hey can you if y'all watching this anyways <laughs> I love this bag this looks like like a Tommy Hilfiger or like a Nautica or like um I don't know like Polo. Let's get into my bag first. I think both our things are like mixed together. First things first is I have these night soothing cleansing facial towelettes because if I don't know, hospitals feel so icky right now. If something's in my face, if I cry, if I have makeup on and I want to wipe the makeup off, you know, bring your own like towelette. Next, I have this, um, what is it called? Pregnancy brain, what are these called? Nursing bras, and I think I bought this prematurely because my boobs have not grown, and this is kind of big, but we're gonna put this into the universe that all my milk is gonna let down and I'm gonna be able to fit this. Next, I have some big girl panties. These are from Amazon as well, and they come up, and they're like kind of not tight. Oh, excuse me, Lord. They're not tight around your waist, but they're fitted so that when you wear your pads and stuff, it don't it doesn't move around. So I have a few of these in here as well. These are huge, and they are too big for me. Okay, but. Last minute, I was walking out the store right in the front where some um, flip flops for a dollar. And they didn't have no small ones. And I'm like, I don't care. They're only gonna be for the hospital. Once I leave the hospital, I'm throwing them away. So, cause I'm not gonna bring home flip flops from the hospital. This is if I wanna take a shower um, 
or just like walk around the room because hospital floors, ill. Shower and hospitals, ill. I'm gonna put these big old flip flops on and then leave them at the hospital. So flip flops, a dollar. Next, I have this long, I think it's like a 10 foot charger. I have Android, so this wasn't really too expensive for me. <laughs> I don't know about your iPhones, but I have this long extended charger. This is a cheap charger, so you know cheap chargers don't never last long. So I don't wanna leave my Samsung charger at the hospital on accident, so I bought this one so that if I forget it, oh well. And I have Earth Mama Organic, organic Nipple Butter. So someone told me to bring like a nipple cream, you know, just in case things get rough and uncomfortable. It's supposed to soothe, help, you know. Yes. Next item is, I bought three different choices for bottoms because I don't know how I'm gonna feel right now. I hate like bottoms, I hate clothes, period. I don't know how I'm gonna feel right afterwards, so I wanted more options. So I have these. They're kind of big. They're just loose fitting, they have pockets. They're silky, so they're not like legging leggings, but they're not like sweatpants. So they're in the middle, just in case I want something kind of loose but kind of fitted, here's an option. Then my second option is sweatpants. So I have some actual sweatpants and I bought them in like a size or two bigger, I think I did. Yeah, these are large. And I bought these just in case I'm cold at night or I really want something that's loose. The last option of pants I bought somewhere in here. These are more panties. How many pair of drawers am I taking, honey? How long do you think you're gonna be there? Okay. And then I actually did just buy some leggings just in case I do want something more fitted to keep like the panties and the pad in place. Cause you know, it's a mess after you have a baby. So I bought these as well. So those are my three options as bottoms. And then I packed me several socks. Then I have this big bottle of hand sanitizer for me. A toothbrush and a toothpaste, you know, the little um, travel kit size ones. Cause who wants to sit in there with St. Breath? Must have Vaseline, cocoa butter, some chapstick. Listen, little travel kit deodorant. Also, I'm going to take my own robe because it is cold in hospitals, all right? It's supposed to be. And I want to be comfortable, so I have my Pretty plush robe that I got from CVS for $20. Okay. Next we have his bag. Also, before I get to his bag, I'm going to take this bag with me, my little travel bag, because if you didn't know, the cart that they like wheel him around on, they give you things for him, they give you things for you. So it's stacked with like pads and things diapers do you know that you can take those things it's not stealing those things are for you your insurance is paying for it anyways just take them so a lot of people only usually use what they have there and they leave them but you can take those things now in his bag i already sterilized i have pacifiers I have... now to his outfits because he's measuring a big baby and you never know I've had some people tell me that their baby measured big and then came out smaller. And then I've had some people who they thought their baby was gonna be smaller and came out bigger. You just never know. So I have multiple options of clothes. I know I'm not gonna be there that long, and I know I don't need all these outfits. It's just because he measures so big that I don't want to take the risk of being there and him not being able to fit stuff. A couple little plain little onesies. Then these little joggers to go with it, with one of those shirts. I love joggers. This is the outfit I wanted to take him home in, but this is my smallest outfit ever. And 
yeah, in my head, I'm like, he is not going to be able to fit in this. But hopefully he can and he will. And this is the outfit. This is a newborn outfit. Everything else is like zero to three months. But this is an actual newborn outfit. So I'm hoping that he can get his big butt in there. Little swaddle blankets. Got a couple options of swaddle blankets. Couple burp, burp cloths. Have another option. This is zero to three months. This is a onesie, like a slip, I mean a sleeper. Gonna take this just in case he's a little bit bigger. And a few like newborn socks. They're different sizes. Then I have your little classic, you know, comb and brush set. So um, my ultrasound technique, te technique. My ultrasound tech says that she, every time she gives me ultrasound, she's like, oh, look at all that hair. I'm gonna be so mad if she gassing his hair and he come out with no hair or like not enough hair to use this. And that's pretty much it. I think that's all I'm taking to the hospital. And I think that's pretty much everything that I'm gonna take with me. And I am so uncomfortable sitting up. Um, I think my water's breaking. Mm. <laughs> you, need, you need your hospital? Huh? Oh, it's still coming! At this point, I don't even care how I look, but I just called my doctor. And today, my actual doctor is on call. So, she just got back from out of town. So he waited, y'all. My baby waited until my doctor came back. So, I'm gonna take a shower. Okay, so, I gotta clean up the mess first, cause my kids gotta step in here and, that was nasty. Uh-oh. To the doctor? Yes. Excuse me. Hello? Hi, Dr. John. This is Julie. Oh, I think... I think my water is breaking. It did. It stopped now. Like, I, I peed, and then I stood up, and then... A whole bunch of like, not a whole, like, the trickles of liquid came out right after I used the bathroom. And then it was kind of like red tinged a little bit when I wiped it off the floor. And then, um, I pushed just to see if it would come out again, and then more came out. And then, so I, I know, I, my water never broke, so I, um, <laughs> my doctor said, it sounds like your water is broke. And if your water is broken, then it's baby time. So, um, I'll definitely come on in if I was you. Hey. Hurry up. You can't take a 30 minute shower. Why? I need to put some makeup on. Girl, no, you don't. You're doing way too much. <laughs> Mommy, you don't need to put makeup on. You're beautiful. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's still some. Is that pee? I don't know if this is pee or water. What well, if it's water. pee and you go up in there and it's pee? <laughs> no, it's not. No, Zarya saw the rest come out. Yeah. I saw it all, no. I, and it was a I, little red. Who pees red? Yeah, I saw all of it. Everyone. I saw all of it. Pee red, bro? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> mommy? Everyone, mommy's getting out the shower. Zaria, Get Mia, ready. look under the counter and um, grab me some makeup. You want your makeup? Get, Get my makeup. I need some makeup. I need. No. Get makeup. Are you insane? I feel like you're supposed to stay calm in case of a fire. I mean. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like you stay calm, cool, and collected. Okay. Even though know, this labor is starting off different because both of my kids, um, my waters didn't break. So I don't know nothing about this, but I feel like you stay calm and cool. Even though I had stuff to do, man, I had a video plan. My water on the break. We didn't even do the baby mama thing. Oh, we can do it now. Mommy. What? No, you gonna leave from the hospital. We can do the baby mama dad. No. We're gonna insert the baby We're gonna do the baby mama dance while I'm in labor. Are you? I still look a mess, but at least my skin is even toned. Okay, so I don't look cute, and that's a problem for me, but. You know, I'm gonna go comfortable in my pajamas. Oh my god, y'all are literally chilling. And I guess we finna go to the hospital now. Okay. Oh, my lips chapped. 
Look at the house. That needs to be upstairs. Okay, listen. I'm gonna While I'm going, we gotta clean up. I've been cleaning my butt up, and the day I ain't clean up, everything is out of place. What the Take I that upstairs. I want everything nice and tidy. Nice. Alright. Alright, Nene. You don't even care. No one even cares. <laughs> mm, I love you. Mm. Water. I don't care. We gotta stop by the stove and get some water. Lord tried and left my mask. We gotta pull back up. <laughs> Go in there. Let me. Because I took my purse out. I, I took the wallet out of my purse. I get it. Oops. Oh, go! All right, I'm going. <laughs> yes, I'm going in the store getting water while my water broke. <laughs> huh? My mama's speedy. Look, 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 look at my, look at the camera. <laughs> really Y'all, I'm by myself. Agent store is locked. Use intercom to request entry. Hi, um, I called my doctor. My water broke. She told me to come up here. Step up to the door. Step up. I'm okay. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know where to go. I don't know where to go. Let me see y'all back when I get some information. I'm checked in. It's so weird because of COVID. When I had my other kids, this was like packed in. Ugh, so weird. Life is so weird now. It's like a dead zone. Hello? Hello? Like a movie, like a zombie gonna come from right right there. I watch too much TV. Do y'all know that they sending me back home? Even though I'm having, oh, I can't even see it. Even though I'm having contractions, I'm not dilated enough. And since like COVID, they like kind of don't want you in here or something. You have to like really be like labor, labor, labor. I don't even stay close to here. So like I got to wait until contractions are one to two minutes apart and then drive 25 minutes. I'm going to have a baby in the car. I am so upset. And then they said that might not have been my water. But y'all saw that. What was that leak? What was the leak? If that wasn't my water broke, what was the leak? So, it wasn't pee. I smelt it. So, I'm going to go home and probably be right back up here like told you.